you my loves what's up welcome back to a new vlog oh my god that's do you hear juan downstairs he's playing video games right now with his friends and he keeps yelling oh my gosh zelda just came out and he was like wrapped up in playing that for a while but i guess now he's back to the other game where he plays with other people it makes a lot of noise but anyways welcome back to a new vlog i am back from scottsdale i have a nice tan oh my god you guys i loved I loved it so much. I enjoy being home, of course, because the weather's like super nice here, finally. But something about that dry heat, I just love it. We had so much fun. It was so much fun, like just trying out so many new restaurants, a different restaurant, every lunch, every dinner. Ugh. But we are back and this is my birthday weekend. Ah, I can't believe I'm turning another year older. Very grateful for it. But we're gonna have a nice long weekend. My birthday always coincides with Memorial Day. So, you know. I just get a three day weekend on my birthday every year. It's pretty freaking nice. But in this vlog, I also wrapped up my guest bedroom. So I'm gonna share with you guys like a little guest bedroom reveal and tour. I'm super excited about it. It's been in the works for a really long time. Not because I've been working on it for a long time. I mean, I kind of have, but I like took like a massive break and like changed the direction I was going. And then once I decided, it was like pretty quick to like wrap it all up. But Juan's parents are gonna be here next week, which I'm so excited to have them visit. They're gonna stay for a couple of weeks so I was like really under the wire just to like get the bedroom ready to go for them and make it like a cute little oasis and stuff but before we get into all of that wow I wanted to start off this vlog with doing a haul a good old-fashioned haul today's haul is going to be buff bunny I'm so excited to try out their activewear I've been on a kick of trying activewear and I'm really excited to share with you guys these pieces they are so good also a huge thank you to buff bunny for sponsoring this portion well, let's go ahead and get into it. Let me share with you all of the pieces that I got. Okay, standing up so that you can get like the full visual. Oh, oh my god, this might be my new favorite sports bra. Do you guys see how flattering this is? Not only for the girls, because you know, you know what I mean, but I love the long line portion of it. You see just like a sliver of your stomach. That's like the most flattering part of your stomach too. Love like the thick straps on this. And do you guys see how strappy this back is? It's stunning. But this is their Evolution sports bra. I got it in a size extra small, so I feel like it runs pretty true to size, obviously in the color Onyx and black. I would say this offers like a good like medium support i feel really secure in it but this fabric is called nubri and it is like this second skin feeling super soft fabric the type of fabric that i just love to be in it's my most favorite type of fabric to wear i love the second skin feeling and feeling like i'm just not really wearing anything you know this sports bra comes in nine other colors and then these shorts I don't even know if you knew that they were shorts, but these are their bike shorts. It's a four inch inseam, which is a little bit shorter than I typically like to go, but they are so flattering. I honestly cannot believe it. And like the butt on these, with the seams and the V, I am obsessed. It's crazy to me that this has like that second skin feeling fabric right, yet it still feels like really compressed and I feel really supported in these in the front. They are high-waisted and this band hasn't moved at all. It's not like rolling at all. I actually worked out in this set yesterday and it performed exceptionally well. So I'm happy to like report that. But this is the first set. I also have this in a legging version. So let me put that on really fast. Like, are you guys kidding me? These feel like butter. They are so soft, like so easy to like move around in. Obviously great for working out, but I'm so excited to like lounge in these too. Do like my errands just day to day in them. They are, oh my gosh, so soft. The back of them, the butt of them is the exact same as the shorts. So it has like a little bit of a V detailing, making it the most flattering for the bum. It also has side seams and no front seams. So it's like really smooth in the front, no like camel toe sort of situation either. These are squat proof. And you guys, these leggings, they come in like 35 other colors. It's honestly insane. I think the bike shorts come in like 17 colors. So you have the pick of the rainbow. I will say that these are like slightly long for someone who's petite like me. I am 5'1". It bunches like a little bit, but I can also roll it at the bottom. So if you're a little bit taller than me, these are going to be really good. A little bit longer than like a 7 8 inch inseam, I would say. I also picked up a new 
backpack too. This is called their Game Changer backpack. And what I liked about it is one that it was like super roomy, but I thought that this would be a nice one to use like going back to the office because it has a spot for your laptop. I also honestly could have traveled with this when I went to Scottsdale, maybe on like an upcoming trip. This would be like the perfect bag because it does offer so much room in the inside. It has all like these little compartments. It has zippers and compartments on the side. It's a really like sleek fabric but a really fun part about this is this compartment right here which makes me think that this is going to be like a perfect backpack to go like hiking or like go for like walks and stuff if you want to bring like drinks and snacks and things that you want to keep a little bit cold because look this compartment is like a little mini cooler is that not like the coolest thing ever i think that's so amazing it's a really versatile backpack it has silver hardware but also has another option that has gold hardware too this and everything that i showed you guys will of course be linked down in the description or also on my ltk shop you guys all know that i use ltk for legit everything everything that i'm wearing everything in my home my skincare my makeup like pretty much everything in my whole life if you don't have the app i highly encourage you guys to download it it's free and you have access to legit everything that i'm wearing everything that i'm using everything on a day-to-day -day. and not only me but access to thousands of other creators too like it's so awesome ltk also has this really cool new feature that i wanted to tell you about it's called their buy now feature which allows you to buy directly through the ltk app app itself without being redirected to like the brand's website. It makes the flow really seamless and it's really fast to shop, especially if you are shopping on your phone too. There's nothing worse than trying to like buy stuff on your phone sometimes. Not every single brand is supported with this feature. You'll be able to know which brand is supported because it has like this little credit card icon right next to it. But luckily Buff Bunny is. So again, everything that I mentioned will be linked down below. I'll include my LTK shop so that you can shop directly to get the items thank you again so much to buff bunny and let's go ahead and get into the rest of this vlog a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive nothing to hold me back take my time just enjoy the ride I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself So we're doing something a little fun and random at the moment. So behind our house, there's like this trail and on the trail, we always see people picking berries. Are they raspberries, babe, or what? Do you know what type of berries they are? Probably blackberries. Do you think it's just blackberries? I don't know, we'll find out here. Mm. We've never done this before. And we're like, you know what? Ahead of the weekend, and when people pick all the berries, cause it's gonna be a hot commodity, we wanted to try to get in here and pick them for ourselves first. So we'll see if we luck out and if there's anything here. Oh, here you go. No, that's nothing. I lied. Babe, I don't see anything. I don't think they're ready yet, babe. Unless they all went bad. When do these typically like bloom? Have we missed it? Or is it yet to come? What do you think? So we might be early. Babe, it's a bust. But babe, we saw people picking. So what were they picking at? No, this is where all the berries are though. This whole strip is like where all the berries are. Did they grab them all? <laughs> they grabbed them all. Could you imagine? They had like a, a whole group of people out here just picking all of the berries. Not even one. Not even one. Not even a one. Okay. Bust. Still nice to get outside though, babe, for today. It's really hot. It's like 76 degrees and like, it's so green out here. Do you guys see this? It's beautiful. Good morning. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> a full day for me. I'm gonna do exactly what I wanna do. I cannot believe it. Another birthday has come. You guys, guess my age. Do you guys know how old I am? I 
turned 34 today. I could, honestly could not even believe it myself. <laughs> I don't feel 34, it's crazy. First thing I wanna do today on my birthday is I wanna go get donuts. I really want donuts. So it just turned nine o'clock. Let's go do it, hopefully. It's not busy, like I don't know like the donut scene on a Saturday morning, you know? Like I feel like it's it's a busy time. I woke up to some flowers too. Hey, they're so pretty. I love them so much. So we're just gonna keep these, I think, in the center of the island. There we go. Let's go, babe. Yeah, let's try it. We're gonna try out this new donut place that we've never been to before. Let's do it, do it, do it. I am um, wearing an Aritzia sweat set. We got the goods. These look so delicious. Mmm, ah. made at home. Okay, here's a better view of all of the amazing donuts. This one is Quant's. It's like an apple fritter, right? This one, I think it's filled with apple. This is a raspberry fill. The sprinkles are one of my favorites. Same with the maple old fashions. Hands down my favorite. This looked delicious. Good old twist, of course. Glaze and then just like a normal one, you know? Yummy! Oliver! What, breakfast? Have you fed him? Yeah. You have? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oliver, you haven't even said happy birthday to me. What? Where are you? The disrespect around here. I give you a life, I feed you, and you can't even say happy birthday to me. So full disclosure, to be like a little bit annoying. <laughs> We went to one donut place and they didn't have maple old fashions and I was like, okay, bye. And I went to a different donut place because maple old fashions are my favorite donut of life. This is a maple old fashion. It's so good, so good. What donut is your guys' favorite? I also really love the sprinkles and a weird side note about them is I love the sprinkles like, like this donut like a couple days later. <laughs> I don't know why. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> So good. So good. Mmm. 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 What should I watch on TV? Since you're giving me access to the main TV today. You can watch me play Zelda. No, right. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to go to my birthday lunch. I'm deciding to go out for lunch instead of dinner. Juan and I were like discussing it last night because I'm thinking I just like want to stay in tonight. Like it's my favorite thing to do. I'm such like a homebody. So like let's just go out for lunch and then we can do like a quick little couple other things that like we want to get done. And then I can have like the full rest of the afternoon and the evening to just like chill, watch my shows, watch movies, like just chill. Like that's legit my favorite thing to do, as you guys know. And then maybe we can order like food for delivery or something like that. So anyways, I'm getting ready now for the lunch and we are going somewhere new that I've never gone before. It's called Rock Creek Seafood and Spirits. It's in Fremont. If you're familiar with the area, it's like north of Seattle. I'm gonna quickly do my hair here. I'm gonna do like a little bit of a blowout using blowout tool and then we need to decide on our outfit I'll spray a little heat protectant on each section some parts that aren't like all the way straight but it's okay I'm too lazy to bust out my straightener for that oh love it okay 
I'm starting to play around with outfits and I think that this is a good first option. I don't want to wear black booties because it's like the daytime so I want to wear like a lighter pair. I love this leather jacket and I officially like want to wear it because I haven't worn it just yet and it's a little bit of a gray day so I feel like I can get away with it. It's not going to rain though, you know? And then another option is switching out the jacket for like this oversized bomber from Zara. I don't know if it's just like too big and oversized especially paired with like the baggy denim a little too much. Let me try changing out like the shirt but I feel like I want to keep the bottom half the same so I just need to like figure out something to work on top. Okay here's like a brown like sweater tank instead of the gray top. Does this work a little bit better? Potentially. I could try switching out for like a black top you know instead. Hmm this could be really cute though. It's a good option. Okay here it is with the black top instead. I kind of feel like I like the brown one more with it. Obviously this like works too though but it feels like a little too nighttime. I also have like this tweed little jacket that I can throw on instead of the leather jacket. Mm, what do we think of this? So I feel like it's the leather with the brown top or the black top with this are the two options. Let's see what Juan thinks. This could be cute though. Like it. We are officially running behind schedule. Have my purse ready to go. And I decided on the leather jacket with the brown top. I think I went back and forth between the two like four times, <laughs> but I think I like this the most. Just waiting for Juan to finalize his outfit and then we are out the door. Oh, I didn't put any jewelry on. That's okay, we don't need it. You're giving me the remote. Oh, big stretch, Oliver. Jeez. We found Oliver in the exact same spot that we left him in <laughs> on the couch, but we just got back home and I changed into sweats and I am ready to lounge. You ready to lounge? Silence. Is he even listening to me? I got I'm nothing. Doing, doing. <laughs> yeah, I am. I said, Are you ready to lounge? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so Rock Creek, the restaurant that we went to, I don't think, I don't know, I, I said Alexa. Did you hear me say it? Don't say it. Don't say it, right? Wow, I activated Alexa. Babe, you can see the moon right now. Mm. You see it? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we went to Rock Creek. And I didn't know that they had a brunch menu and that was the menu that we were presented. And the only menu that I looked at was like their dinner menu, but it was still like a pleasant surprise. Their brunch was so delicious. I ended up getting like a biscuits and gravy. I am such a sucker for biscuits and gravy. And then Juan, what did you get? Did you get like an eggs Benedict sort of a dish? Yeah. With like gravy and the hollandaise sauce and stuff, right? Yeah, like it was eggs Benedict, but mixed with Biscuits and gravy. Yeah, but you yes. loved it. Delicious. So delicious. And then we only got like a half dozen of some oysters and the oysters were absolutely delicious. That was like my one request for my birthday is I really wanted to get oysters. <laughs> my one request after the donuts, <laughs> after whatever the request I've had. But no, I highly recommend it if you guys live in the area and you've never been and you want to try out a new restaurant and you like seafood they have like a whole seafood menu essentially like it's a seafood restaurant um i really recommend it what are you getting over there 
Oh, okay. Um, so now I need to figure out what I want to watch. Do you want to watch a documentary? We can watch the, what's his name? Michael J. Fox. Yeah. One, See. or we can watch the Ed Sheeran one. Do you want to watch, watch one of those? The Michael J. Fox. You want to watch that? You don't want to save it for tonight? Uh, yeah, I don't know what we are going to watch tonight. Exactly. That was like a solid contender for tonight too. So we'd have to find something else. Or you can let me watch like Ghosted or one of like the bad. <laughs> Not highly rated movies, but movies that I still want to see. No? You won't give me that on my birthday? No. <laughs> you can watch. I see that there's a line. <laughs> yeah, ghost it is. We know the line. <laughs> That's too funny. No, I was saying that you can watch one of your shows. We can watch Yellow Jacket, so then we can be up to date and we can move on. But we're like five episodes behind. It's like five hours of TV. We need to make progress. We do. So we can move on to something else. Yeah. Are you wanting to move on? What? Are you not enjoying it? It's not great. <laughs> let's, let's put it that way. <laughs> it's loud. Okay. Well, I'll watch like Summer House or Sailing Yacht to get us kicked off. And then <laughs> we can watch one of those things. <laughs> what? Sure. <laughs> I feel like you can really see my melasma through my makeup. That's a problem. Just there's no way of covering it up. That's the problem. Right. Don't cover it. Don't cover it. Juan loves my melasma. <laughs> Do you want to talk sticks? Yeah, and I'll also take a fork. A fork for the fried rice. We ordered from one of my favorite restaurants for dinner. I'm sure you guys can guess it. I'll give you a second. It's a dead Thai fun. <laughs> Spicy. Talk to me. What? Spicy noodles? Spicy noodles. Noodles with spicy sauce. Ginger. Is so freaking good. We've tried to like find a dupe for this sauce, like making this sauce. And you just, I can't find anything. You know? You don't want chili oil, no? No. Noodles. But it's amazing because then they have the noodles and then the sauce separate from one another. Fingers. This is the sauce. This is the amazing sauce that I wish we knew how to make. So, if anybody knows... Yeah, so if anyone knows, <laughs> hit me up, let me know, because I've been dying to know for years. What else do we got? <laughs> I kind of stopped with like the noodles. We got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> we got a bunch of stuff. We got two um, soup dumplings. They're pork jalong baos. By far the best dumplings I feel like I've ever had. And then we ended up getting some vegetarian, like fried rice essentially. I love their fried rice, it's delicious. Surprisingly, we didn't get any like greens. We usually get like their green beans or their broccoli. We decided not to do that this time. Switch it up. Juan also got a soup. This is your first time ordering a soup. What type of soup did you get? This oh, hot and sour soup. Hot and sour. Okay, have you had it before? I don't think so. Okay. And then we got the chocolate dumplings for a little dessert. Quan's gonna have to sing me happy birthday and we'll have to put a candle in this. They're so good. They're so good. These we might have to like heat up though, babe, cause it's gonna be like, what, 20 minutes like after we eat? Yeah. So. So here's the little plates <clears throat> that Quan has created. So we have a little bowl of our fried rice some of the Xiaolong Baos, and then the spicy noodles. Right here, we got the soy sauce and vinegar mixture. We do still have some other Xiaolong Baos, so we'll have to come back for them. And some extra rice, too. I think Juan said that he might be saving this for tomorrow. That he just got for himself, not for me. And then we'll come back for dessert. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Carissa, happy birthday to 
You. Three, three wishes. Three wishes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Woohoo! switch it up with like my form workouts that I do with um, some more cardio and so I've been picking up rowing since I got back from Arizona. I've gone on with my skincare right now and my toner so today immediately I need to have breakfast and then I want to watch the Monaco Grand Prix that's formula one for those that may not know. I think it was already recorded this morning or like very early in the morning. So I'm staying off social media because I don't want any like spoilers. <laughs> Otherwise, I definitely need to clean today. I have a lot of like clothes organizing that I need to do, like piles in my closet. So I need to like hang up a bunch of stuff. And then later tonight, we're going over to my mom's house to celebrate my birthday with my family. <sighs> So good, good day overall. I still want it to be relaxing. You guys, I am all about having like a super relaxing Memorial weekends. I don't need to go anywhere. I just was somewhere. I just like need to recharge, honestly. Because when you're on vacation, you just like go, 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 which is like the best, you know? But at the same time, like, like how I recharge is by relaxing, not necessarily like the go, go, go stuff, even if it was on vacation, you know? Anyway. Mm, as you can see from like Arizona, my melasma just like came back like crazy. It's something that I just constantly struggle with, struggle to like maintain. So now that I'm back and that a summer is essentially starting, I really need to be on uh, my melasma control game. So yesterday I went ahead and picked up a refill of my Fade Therapy. I get it from the place that I get like my facials and stuff. Because it has hydroquinone and trentinoin in it, it is like a prescription sort of a thing. But I'm so excited to start this again. It does have 6% hydroquinone. And if you don't know like about all this sort of stuff and maybe you like have melasma, hydroquinone is like one of the only things that will help to treat melasma so melasma if you're unaware it's like a skin hyperpigmentation condition essentially like my skin overproduces melanin which causes all of this hyperpigmentation that you see on my face all like the brown marks on my face and a lot of things can cause it like birth control pregnancy just like genetics and stuff like that but also like uv light helps to like gastrobate it is that the word so essentially my skin is very sensitive to uv light it essentially like overproduces the melanin like how it like it works and stuff like that so anyways hydroquinone is like one of like the only main things that can truly lighten the pigmentation it is kind of like a skin bleaching agent helps to stop the melanin production and stuff like that so anyways that's what this is but it is mixed with like a retin a because helping the skin like turn over it's like a good like combination so i need to start on that i'm gonna start on it tonight and then we'll see how like my skin ends up peeling and stuff if i can do it like once a week or maybe i can do it like a few times a week you know but anyways i'm excited for that let's go have breakfast probably get dressed and then go have breakfast 
I should mention there's like no cure for melasma like I truly wish that there was so that's why I was saying like it's all about like trying to maintain the control of it and like find like that perfect balance to keep it at bay um I really hope that like even if it's 10 years 15 20 i don't know whatever years from now that they find some sort of cure for it because as much as like i'm used to it because i've had it for like i don't know like seven years of my life um i would like to be able to tan my face and go out into the sun and enjoy it without having to like freak out about like this happening to my skin every single time a little bit of sun hits it like it's crazy like it's really hard to cover it um with makeup like it's always visible and like i've kind of gotten used to it like i'm fine with it and kwan of course like he loves it too but it's just like one of those things like sorry my battery died but what i was saying is like would i love to have clear skin and not have any of this absolutely if it would only be like in a couple of spots like i don't think i would have a problem with it but the thing about this is that it can really get out of control like for instance like it started out on my forehead but just throughout the years you guys it's like spreading like every year it just seems like it gets like worse <sighs> even with like controlling it like i do like it just pops up in new spots like for instance like it's kind of already been on like my temples and like my forehead but it's starting to like go down my nose and then this year it's starting to get on my chin and then like this whole section is like new you know like it's creating like these lines down my face it kind of makes me look like i have a mustache so it's uh, it's just frustrating you know like that it's spreading and the thing about melasma too is it's all symmetrical so like because i have it like right here of course it's going to be on this side and then it takes over like your entire upper lip oh it's crazy you guys and it's weird because this was like the worst part of it but you can see like now right here is like lightning I don't know you guys might be like tmi but i just feel like i need to share it don't want to hide it like people have all sorts of like problems and things that they deal with this is just something that i deal with so obviously normalizing these imperfections you know that we all have we all have our own like struggles and this is just something that i deal with melasma and then some acne every once in a while right now i don't seem to have any like acne but it kind of comes and goes you know we're all human we all have stuff you know no one's perfect all right rant over <laughs> just got ready fully ready so that we can head on over to my mom's house to celebrate my birthday but guess what room we're standing in it is that time i wanted to share with you guys my guest bedroom it's been a journey i'm so glad that it's officially like wrapped up there's very little minor things that i want to do to it i sometimes sneak over to this room and like sleep in it and just like enjoy it because i just love it so much so let me turn you around and let me give you the official tour of the room okay so this is the view right when you walk into the room i wanted to give you the view but it's kind of like a, a small room so it's hard to give you like the quick overview of it you know what i mean but i wanted to show you what it looks like right when you enter so this is what it looks like essentially everything in this room is new from what i had in it before we didn't have a bed frame at all so i got this bed frame if you guys have been on the journey i've been going back and forth on what bed frame to get it's from soft frame designs and it just goes over like a box spring it's so cool it gets delivered in like a single box to your house and it's super easy to put together i put this all together myself and i ended up getting what is it called like the classic one not the ultra the ultra would have been like this much wider but we just didn't have the space in this room for instance it would have stuck out like this much more and this little pathway is so narrow as is so i'm so happy i went with the classic i'm very happy i went with white as well it gave me the exact look i was going for something that's kind of restoration hardware but like a fraction of the price so super happy with that all of the bedding i'll speak to it really quickly it's a mix of brooklinen and nordstrom actually and then this pillow is from crate and barrel taking it down to our feet here this rug i got from i think wayfair it looks so freaking exciting expensive it's so nice i think it's like 100 percent wool too i'm actually thinking about getting this exact rug in the bigger size and putting it into my office it's just like so neutral kind of comes off a little bit yellow though but it's not like quite a solid there's like some unique details in it so it's just like exactly what i was looking for taking it up for a second so this painting you guys would have seen in my office i went 
went ahead and moved it over to here and I feel like it ties in really really well with these black lamps I used to have these black lamps at my condo I've been saving them <laughs> for this room and then these nightstands I really love too they are from Pottery Barn and they have like this little USB and plug-in like little console right there and then it offers like a little bit of storage too this whole room kind of like lacks the storage right like I didn't have room for a dresser I'm thinking about getting like a really tall one to squeeze into this little cove in the corner here I'm still trying to find like the perfect one however so for now I have like these container store metal mesh bins in this closet right here that offers like the perfect amount of like storage and stuff for when we have visitors and tons of like hangers and things like that in that closet as well here is the view from the other side so that you guys can see it oh, I love the tones it's like really perfect i'm so happy about it pivoting on over to this side so i mounted this tv and i mounted it all by myself i might add <laughs> i put like this little thing right here to hide the wires and this bench is from zara home i kept it in here for now i'm thinking maybe about finding something just as narrow that has like drawers just as like a landing spot like when you come in the room you can throw like i don't know your keys your purse like whatever else on top of it but then it still has like a couple drawers for storage but still like narrow enough to not take up the walkway you know so I might switch that out and move this to the first floor but for now I like it the way it is and then the last little piece that I added in here is this mirror as you guys saw so this is actually the mirror from my office I plan on getting a new mirror for my office and then this one will live in this room right here in this space it fits perfectly I feel like for a guest bedroom like one of the things that I just feel is like a necessity in a bedroom is having a floor length mirror so that way like when you're getting dressed you can can figure out your outfit and I figure that my guests would really appreciate that as well and obviously adding a mirror in here I just feel like it makes the space feel a little bit bigger too so yeah that's it a very simple redesign nothing too crazy but again obviously very happy with the way that it turned out it feels very like light and bright in this room and I hope that you guys all enjoyed it too and of course I will make sure that I am linking everything that I can in this room too so essentially for my outfit I'm wearing one of the options from yesterday like this skims top the same jeans but I'm gonna pair it with these little thong heeled shoes that I got from Zara I also have them in black too like they are so good they're so comfy I wear them all over Scottsdale like the black ones and they were like perfection so I am going to switch over my purse from this one to this one for tonight I'm gonna couple it with doing like kind of like a, a reveal of the bag this is the purse that I got in Scottsdale for my birthday and I promised you guys that I would share it with you guys so this is the Bottega teen jody size it's just like the next size up from like the mini is it called the mini the mini jody <laughs> size i've been having my eye on this bag for such a long time like this exact color the size and i found scottsdale to be the perfect opportunity to get it juan kind of like even brought it up which is like okay let's do it also taxes are less in scottsdale compared to seattle so it saved some money on taxes too which was really nice but my mom requested to see the bag so i am going to to use it and wear it for tonight but it's so spacious there's so much room in the inside so i'm excited to see like how much of the stuff from this bag that i can fit on over to this one and then the hardware on it is gold this is in the camel or the caramel color i forget what like what they call it but it is their leather handbag and i just like love bottega because it's just classic and timeless like i'm gonna have this for so many years to come like potentially even passing it down to like my daughter one day too this is just not a handbag that i feel like really goes out of style and it's just like honestly gorgeous so so for me being petite like it's pretty easy for me to fit it like up here on my shoulder when I was talking with the associate she was like a little bit taller than me and she said that there was just no way that the teen one could fit on her shoulder like this well so I'm happy that I'm able to like fit it up here you know but of course you can hold it like in the nook of your arm as well so yeah that's the little beauty that's what I wanted to share with you guys so excited I'm trying to see potentially about fitting this little bag I keep this this Louis Vuitton one just as like the catch-all for this bag since it's such like a large opening I don't think I need like half of the stuff in here I have a hand sanitizer in there I don't think I need that right now but I have like my hand cream a little claw clip for my hair I have a brush a couple of tampons in here and then I have like my lip 
balm too. We'll keep that stuff in here. I can't really like zip it though with all like that sort of stuff. Put that in here. Okay, that fits. And then the only other thing that I have in here is just my card case. So that was easy breezy. Of course, all of that like fits in here fairly well. And I'm gonna throw the camera in here and my phone too. So everything fits still really nicely. Eee! I'm so excited for this handbag, guys. So we ended up picking up my cake for tonight. We got one from the Cheesecake Factory. The one that is my favorite is the Godiva Chocolate Cheesecake. Oh boy, it is amazing. And then we also got like a sugar-free one for my dad. And then I think Juan also got like a Dulce Leche one. I wonder if he wants to keep that here instead of bringing it though. So we'll see about that. Happy birthday chocolate. That's really cute. Quan put everything in the refrigerator yesterday once we got home. Oh, what if I drop this? Ooh. Babe, did you want to take the Dulce Leche one or keep it for here? No, let's take it. Take it? And then what's this happy birthday thing? <laughs> did you buy that? <laughs> it's made of chocolate. Do you want to just save it here? No, we put it there. Okay. Do you want to bring some candles so that your mom doesn't have any? Yeah, we can put it in this bag just in case. Don't you think? Here we go. Cute. Anything else? I don't think so. Okay. That was everything, right? We're watching the Charles Schwab um, golf and it's entering into like a playoff right now. So we're like trying to rush to go so that we can potentially watch the playoff game too. It is tied with someone who is an Argentine player. So we're like kind of invested into watching it. <laughs> it's fun. A new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride.